Hello, and welcome back to GM Construct, for the fifth episode of Wire Mod Essentials. Last episode, we explored the functions of the target finder, and two useful setting schemes therein. Now, we'll be applying that knowledge to the creation of a simple teleporting jail that will use the hover drive controller. So let's head over here and see what I got built for you guys. As you can see, I have assembled a simple jail. It consists of a, cylind a cylindrical pop and two plates on either end. Now what you're going to want to notice about these props is that they are unbreakable. There are some props in PHX that consist of glass but are also unbreakable, this being one of them. If you build your jail out of breakable props, the obvious fact being, players inside will break their way out. Now, to get it to teleport to the player we want to, pull out the hover drive controller. It's in the Entity Set tab, and its spawn icon is the USS Enterprise. Now let's place it on the bottom. We place it on the bottom because the way vectors work for players is it places their origin at the feet. So, when we activate it, we want it to teleport to the players because it places the origin there. So, it'll teleport that plate beneath us, thus making the rest of the capsule encapsulate us. Okay, that's, that's, believe it or not, we're done with the jail. So now all we need to do is make the control console. Pull out the target finder with the setting scheme that allows us to control and flip through players, and place it. Now, instead of using a beacon sensor, we're going to use an entity name and an entity position chip. First, let's place a gate entity name there, and then place a gate entity position there. Now that that's done, let's place the text screen so we'll be able to see what the player is that we're targeting, like we learned in the last tutorial. Size 10 is a good size for this kind of screen. Alright. Now, so it displays my name, I'm going to wire string from the screen to the entity name gate. Now it's blank right now because there, no entity has been selected. We can change that. Wire entity from the entity name gate to the target finder output entity. And there you go. There's my display name. And do the same with the position gate to get my position vector. That's the hardest part. Not too hard, is it? Now to control it, let's place two buttons. One to scroll through players, and, and the second one to send the jail. There we go. And there we go. Now I'm going to say that the blue button is button A and the green button is button B. There we go. Wire next target to the button A so we can scroll through the targets. And then, so we get the teleporter to jump when we want it to, wire jump from the teleporter to button B, the green one. Okay, now it's completely in functioning order, except for one thing. If you press the button when there's no jump target, it'll jump default to the map origin, 0, 0, 0. So instead, wire jump target vector to the entity position gate. And there you go. Let's see what this does. I seem to have been trapped. And as you can see, you can do this more than one time. In fact, you can do it as many times as you want to. It jumped to my position. It even works in no clip above the map.
Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. In the next ones, we'll be making an automatic missile and an automatic turret. Thanks for watching, and of course, I hope this helped.